What's up, everyone? Welcome to Running Jesus in Jiu-Jitsu. My name is Lauren Wilson. I'm the founder and creator of this channel. So I ran Division One track at the University of Texas at Austin. While I was at UT, I majored in exercise science. After that, I became a personal trainer and a group fitness instructor where I worked with a broad range of individuals with their fitness goals and their running-related goals from middle schoolers, high school state champions, helped consult some individuals making the Olympic trials. I've worked with people trying to finish their first 5K, and then I was one of the lead gait specialists at Run Lab Austin where we do full-body, head-to-toe, biomechanical analysis based on your running form and then build treatment plans around that. I also have over 20 other fitness, wellness, nutrition certifications. I went back to school. I have my master's degree in business administration. I have passed all four parts of the CPA exam. I'm currently in year two of three of the Arizona School of Ministry through Urban Hope Church in Flagstaff, Arizona to get my pastoral license. And then finally, I am a white belt in jiu-jitsu at Red Hawk Academy. My goals for this channel are to provide my education and my expertise trying to teach other people but also as a part of the teaching process any good teacher knows that they learn from others they learn from the students through constructive conversations and so just by sharing my running journey sharing my jiu-jitsu journey and talking about scripture I hope that we can have constructive conversations to increase what I refer to and what scripture refers to in Galatians 5.22 is the fruit of the Spirit. So I think that no matter your worldview, most of us can agree that maybe one way of living this life is to increase the fruit of the Spirit inside of ourselves and across people and across time. So what is the fruit of the Spirit? And again, Galatians 5.22 says, the fruit of the Spirit is love joy, peace, patience, goodness, gentleness, kindness, faithfulness, and then depending on the translation, self-control or discipline. So increasing those nine fruit across people, across time, and the way we go about doing that is a, is a constructive conversation and, and experience and trial and error. But then also the opposite of that is moving away from bitter fruit, such as anger, bitterness, envy, jealousy, hate, resentment, vengeance, slander, gossip, trying to move away from those as much as possible, realizing that none of us are perfect. We're all going to fall short, but in those moments of falling short, that we can first admit it, ask for forgiveness, and then give it give it to the divine or what is known as repentance. And so why do I, I think that I'm qualified to, to do this channel? For one, I, I don't, to be honest. I just feel that it's been put on my heart. It's been put on my conscience. This is just what I'm passionate about. This is just what I do on a daily basis. This is what I've done on a daily basis for, for years now. And I'm going to have my testimony video of, of why I believe this is the proper way or, or my way that I've been called to present scripture and to present these passions. But the promise that I hope to keep is I want to have tangible, regular running tips for you, starting off with if you're a beginner trying to get into running, because most people that, that come into Run Lab, so now I'm actually a, a management consultant so I help gyms and physical therapy offices and churches, uh, personal trainers, massage therapists, chiropractors. I help them increase revenues and decrease expenses or maximize profitability. So a management consultant, it just depends on where the inefficiency is in that particular business entity. One of my biggest clients right now is Run Lab Phoenix. So the company I referred to earlier, Run Lab Austin, Run Lab Phoenix, we're trying to have a new market entry into Phoenix, Arizona area. And most of the people that we work with, and this reflects the broader community or the broader population at large, 
is most people just want to run 5K to 10K, three to six miles, three to four times a week and not have it absolutely suck, not have it absolutely be painful. And so I want to start off with just providing tips for people trying to get into it. And then as the content starts to evolve, we can have marathon tips, ultra running tips, and then I'll be sharing my running journey on a weekly basis as well. Next is jiu-jitsu. I'm a white belt, and so one of the the main reasons that I want to get into jiu-jitsu is I have admittedly have I have a lot of intensity. I have a lot of passion. Both of my parents are career military, and the way they showed love to me was very intense. It was, and so I have kind of reflected that as I became an adult. And I've realized that my love language of intensity isn't necessarily everybody else's love language. And there's a there's a time and a place to channel and use that aggression. And I've had it come out in inopportune moments, in inopportune ways. And why I love jiu-jitsu is that you have to find that perfect balance of aggression and calm and intensity and calm. What do I mean by that? To elaborate a little bit further if you're too much of a hothead in jiu-jitsu, you're going to gas out, and then you're going to get tapped out. But if you're not aggressive enough, you're going to get ragdolled, and then you're going to get submitted, and you're going to get tapped out. So it's finding that perfect balance of being aggressive yet calm, being intense yet calm. That's what jiu-jitsu is about, and able to maintain your faculties and execute movement patterns and 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 think at a high level under high levels of stress. And then finally, yes, I I am a Christian. I have been baptized. I am going to be a pastor or technically, according to scripture, you're a pastor as soon as people start calling you that without you saying anything and people refer to me as that. So technically by the scripture, I am a pastor, but my goal is I just want to have constructive conversations. I believe that we've never been more materially abundant, yet spiritually deprived. And I think that the anxiety rates, the depression rates, the suicide rates across our population, and then as a identified male, I will speak mainly from a male perspective. I will try my best to bring a female in if we're going to discuss a female perspective, try to stay in my lane as much as possible. But I believe that having conversations about spiritual health about meaning and purpose has never been more vital. And I don't mean go to a church. I don't mean open up the Bible. As you'll see in future episodes, those are man-made creations that have, they've kind of taken it really far. Scripture doesn't say that you need to go to a temple every day. Scripture doesn't say you need to dive in to the Word every day. That's not what it says. But it does say that we should love God with all of our heart, all of our mind, all of our soul. And it does say that we should love our neighbor as we love ourself. And then it does say that our role as Christians is to spread love to all corners of the earth. And so that's what I'm trying to do through having this channel and having constructive conversations. We'll see where it goes. I'm just going to try to stay on a regular basis of a weekly vlog for running and a weekly running tip, weekly vlog for jujitsu, and then kind of what I've learned week to week and then weekly scripture dive. So look forward to going on this journey with y'all. Thank you so much for watching, and let's live the best life possible. Oh, yeah.